there's a certain way you have to kind of do this. So this is a pretty easy job. Don't overcomplicate this. Welcome back. So today I'm going to replace my upper windshield weather strip on my BMW E90. As you can tell, this thing is done for. I remember driving one day. I'm going to put a clip. Uh, this thing was just going crazy, making a bunch of crazy noise flapping around. Yep. First, I'm like, what the heck is that? And I got out and realized it was just all this flapping. But you can see this is, it's coming right off. It's like, this is done. So here it is. Here's the part number. Make sure it has this nice yellow tab on it. You're gonna see why in a second. So what you first wanna do is obviously take all this stuff off. Uh, be careful if you're scraping it off because I've seen some people break their windshield or crack their windshield doing this. So use some type of scraper or just kinda pick it off with your hands, kinda how I'm doing. Uh, again, be very careful. You, uh, you can see mine's very brittle, so it's coming off extremely easy. Now, once you get all this stuff off, the little front part, there's this little metal spine. You can see it's, where is it? It's this thing right here. So what you want to do is get like a metal pick tool or something like this and get underneath it and then bend it back. But make sure you don't put pressure on your windshield because you will crack it. Yeah. All right, so I just use a little needle, no needle nose pliers and just grabbed it and pulled up on it. It did take a little bit of force, but remember, don't use anything that's gonna go against, that's gonna rest against your windshield because then you'll crack the entire windshield and then you'll be screwed. And there it is, this is trash, throw it out. Okay, now that you have that out, I'm going to clean the inside of this little, this little passageway. I'm gonna get all this stuff off my windshield, clean this out so it's nice and clean and ready to go for the new one. I cleaned up all that gunk and stuff, now I'm just gonna spray it. Just kinda clean around it. And it might need some mineral spirits or something. And get all like the little stuff out. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can with the paper towel. Still pretty dirty, but I think it's fine now. All right, so before you start doing this, you don't wanna take this adhesive off on the back. You wanna keep this on. That's why you have that yellow tab at the very end makes it very easy, you can just pull right off and everything gets seated very nicely. Okay, so this is the next day because my battery died, but basically you wanna clean out this whole entire crevice, then you wanna get your new one, and there's a certain way you have to kind of do this, so right here you see I put it in like about three inches before the end, so you wanna slip it in here, because it kinda of like, it kinda of curls into it, and then you want to slide it towards this way so it's it's in there nicely. If you don't, you might get like a little bulging, little bulging thing right here. You'll 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 know if you did it wrong. So I slid it in, and you just slide it. Just like this. So here's this side. Notice how this isn't bubbling up and this is there's, there's no room in between the glass and the rubber. If you do, if you just try to press it in without sliding it through like that, then you'll get like a one or two millimeter little gap right here. And you have to do the same thing on the other side as well. So basically once you get one side, you would just, don't, don't press down the middle yet. You would just curl this part up, kind of put it in right here, the end, and just slide it right in. Cause you'll see on this side too, there's no gap right there. So then after that, you wanna just press all this in and then you're gonna take the tab off. You can use pretty much anything to flatten this out. Just don't like bang it with a hammer or something. You don't wanna break your glass. All right, now you can take the tab off. If you keep your car parked in the garage, I'd probably recommend leaving this out in the sun for a day to kind of let that adhesive bake to the paint. You don't have to, but I think it makes sense too. All right, and there it is. Car's a little dirty. So it looks nice. I'm gonna leave this out in the sun. But again, I wanna show you guys how there's, there's no gap right here. Some people will do this and there will be like a one, two, even three millimeter gap in between the rubber. 
an actual windshield, you don't want that. You want no gap there at all. Just like how mine is. No gap. All the way down. There it is. Now it looks brand new. It looks a lot better actually. Pretty happy about it. Alright, so if this video helped you, make sure to like it and then subscribe for more BMW content. See you next time.